defining moment in life when you don't know where to go. Maybe you thought the moment's decision was the best, but going through the process, you realize it is far from your true destiny. You twirl around and around like the everlasting Earth's rotation, trying to understand what your true passion is. You fill your life up with a swarm of experiences and end up in places where you never pictured yourself to be in. Because of the great temptations in life, you fall deep into a hole. So deep everything around you is black. So low you think there's no way out. Until that one defining moment, that one defining experience, that one defining event hits your temple. A switch turns on. My name is Andrew Walker from Chicago, Illinois, and uh, I am a current junior here at the University of Indianapolis. I'm in my second year of grad school, and I'm just looking to prosper in life. I am your mind. Within you is a never-ending magnitude of infinite strength, wisdom, and will. You travel my roads through life never knowing your own true reality because my thoughts remain like distant quasars. You abuse me, never letting me say and do as I feel. Our thoughts split from love affairs to choice of friends. We argue like two enemies, yet we are good friends. Now there are moments when we harmonize with each other and become one with nature and reality. So I transitioned from Chicago, going to Indianapolis. I had no idea of the recruiting process. Nobody in my family went through the recruiting process of football. Coming from you know, Chicago to Indy, uh, I made the team. Um, you know, I was excelling, I went through camp, all that stuff, and I didn't play. I didn't play my first year. I got redshirted. The next year, um, my sophomore year, you know, I was really focused. I stayed here. Um, I stayed here in Indianapolis for the summer. I had the option of going home. It's not mandatory to stay here, but if you really want to get better and excel as a player, you should stay here in the summertime. And so now my mindset is I put in all the work. I was focused. Um, I wasn't letting the outside distractions uh, pull me and pull me to that temptation. I was focused. I was. I had tunnel vision and. My focus was I was going to play because I put in the work. I stay here, I sacrifice all this, I put in the work. So I should reap the benefits, right? So I'm having a good camp. And the week before our first game, I ended up tearing my labrum on my shoulder. Wow, like it, it, things just escalated that quickly. Like that's it, that's it. There's so, so many things going in my head. Like I'm not going to be the same. How am I going to come back from this? I wanted to play, I, you know, I, it's been a whole year since I've actually played on the field. I put in all this work for nothing for it to just be taken away from me. And it was rough. And so months and months went by. And finally one day I, I said, like Andrew, you need to make a decision. Either you're gonna go down this, this dark path of doubt or you're gonna draw the line in the sand and you're gonna get back to where you need to be and you're going to progress and you're gonna change. And this is gonna be for the better. So you got two options. And finally, there was a paradigm shift where I completely changed my whole perception on life and through positive thinking. 
and I figured out exactly what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to play football. I knew that I wanted to excel in school. I knew that I was going to do something big. My vision is super huge. It's on a, on a crazy level, on a worldwide level. I literally say every day, I'm going to have the biggest brand in the world with the most positive influence. I'm working 15, 16 hours a day. It's going to happen. Because I'm going to show you. I tell myself the vision when I wake up and when I go to sleep. If I can impact one person, if I can impact 50, if I can impact 100, why can't I impact the world? I've always been into clothing. Back in high school, um, I worked for an entrepreneur for about four years. Um, I had a couple parties, and I actually made the shirts, went and picked them up 30 minutes away, came back, printed the shirts myself, and I said, why not start a whole clothing brand? I asked one of my mentors, what do you think about this name? I had about like 30 different names. My mentor was like, it should be an English name. And I said, I don't think it should. I think it should be something to where it's an educational experience. And I studied French in high school. And I said, what could symbolize direction? What could symbolize soul purpose, journey? And I came up with the name Coors. It is a culture first. I'm not even worried about money or anything like that. This culture is saying you can do anything that you want to do with a positive mindset as long as you have a vision. I'm my own experiment. I am so uncomfortable right now because I am growing. I can feel myself growing every single day. I am investing in self. I am fully equipped to push this culture. I refuse to live in a box. I refuse to, to do what society says. So, in my head, I was thinking, I want to take it to the next level. I started off with 50 shirts, men and women. I had a list of individuals that I knew for sure would support the movement from the beginning. But the whole purpose wasn't for them to um, contribute financially. I wanted them to contribute emotionally and spiritually. Like, I wanted them to I wanted to sell the idea, not just some materialistic, you know, fabric. It's time to take it to the next level. It's time to take it to the next extreme. I want to have a little more awareness. I want to spread a little more awareness. So um, I was thinking about doing a launch party here on campus. Um, I currently stay in Greyhound Village, so I've been talking to the managers there and I let them know exactly what I wanted to do. This would be a launch party, really just to bring everybody together. I want to, I want to really show people what this movement is about. But this launch party will be bringing everybody in whole. It's been an amazing journey so far. I'm incorporating now. With the success, I'm going to help others. I couldn't do anything that I'm doing right now without my strong support system. My lady, Megan, I feel like we balance each other out because of how deeply connected we are. I'm a totally different person from who I was three and a half years ago. When it comes to designs, like she's one of the first people that I asked. Her love is unconditional.
think of chorus, I think of a wireless, an endless list of possibilities. Static right now. This is a crazy turnout, and I appreciate the people for coming to support me because you don't have to be here. You can be doing anything right now on this Friday night, but you're out here supporting me and supporting the vision, and I appreciate it. And it's just crazy to, to see that the support is just on a totally different level, and I appreciate the people because without you guys, I couldn't do any of this. And it's because of you guys that I'm able to succeed and able to prosper. And this is only the beginning, so I appreciate the support and keep it going. Everybody has a course, everybody has a direction, everybody has a story. This is something new, this is a totally new movie. But I know you guys see the vision, because if you guys didn't see the vision, you wouldn't be here supporting. And I really appreciate you guys' support from the bottom of my heart, I really do. So let's continue to just, you know, provide the positive things, let's keep these positive vibes going, and let's just enjoy the night. Thank you guys so much.